in a recent earnings calling, the once again reassured the Sand 3 based 14 Ryzen for desktop as well as Big Navi and the RX 6000 series graphics cards are still on track for Q3 or a Q4 release. AMD went so far to say that we haven't even seen the best from them yet. Now, having seen AMD's journey from 2017 and the birth of Ryzen and how far AMD has come, hearing that the best is still yet to come clearly speaks how confident AMD is about Sand 3 and RDNA 2. So, that is very promising news guys, but perhaps you shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that Sand 3 will be faster, more efficient and pretty much better in any way compared to Sand 2. Remember AMD has so far confirmed that Sand 3 brings a brand new CPU architecture which helps deliver significant IPC gains, faster clocks and even higher cool count than before. Some rumors have pointed to a 17% increase in IPC and a 50% increase in Sand 3's floating point operations along with a major cache redesign for the shiplet part. Now seeing how much Intel is struggling right now and having in mind how close Sand 2 based Thardian Ryzen is stand against Comet Lake and Intel's Tantian core processors in games, I think it's safe to say Sand 3 can be that CPU we all have been waiting for, an AMD based processor for the first time being faster in games than Intel's counterparts. Let's jump back to the earnings call. Sand 3 will be available for the DIY market and the AIM4 desktop platform first before it makes its way over to the portable and the mobile side in 2021 with Fitian Ryzen which is coming to desktop later down the road as well. Known as the San, said to be the codename behind AMD's Fitian Ryzen APU lineup, said to make use of the same Sand 3 architecture and might as well even come with an RDNA 2 based GPU under the hood, possibly featuring ray tracing support. And so as you can hear guys, AMD is definitely not sleeping right now. And speaking of RDNA 2 and Big Navi, at the earnings call AMD obviously shared a lot of GPU details. They once again reiterated that RDNA 2 based GPUs are expected to launch later this year. For AMD aims to release Big Navi and the 6900 XT first before they move on to the mainstream stack. Now the 6900 XT or Navi 21 said to offer 16GB of VRAM is supposed to come Come out before next gen consoles, where most rumors point to a October or an early November launch. Unfortunately, we expect Big Navi to initially only having, you know, AMD's own dual fan reference cooler, but thankfully, IAB partners such as Gigabyte and Asus and MSI should be able to have their own customized cards out later down the road. At this event, Lisa also stated that RDNA 2 isn't just aimed at the high end market, it will be a full refresh from the top of the stack down to the bottom, but this also means that AMD is aiming at the enthusiast segment first and they will introduce the mainstream performance offerings within the first half of 2021. And from the look of things, Nvidia seem to have a similar roadmap with the RTX 3000 series GPUs as well, where the RTX 3060 and below is supposed to come out in the first half of 2021. Now David Kumar, CFO of AMD, have said that Big Navi is a Halo product and that RTX RDNA 2 is going through the entire GPU stack, meaning that all GPUs, even the entry level cards, could get ray tracing support. Now guys, I have been covering pretty much everything worth needing to know about, about the desktop based Ryzen 4000 and the RX 6000 series cards, and down below you find all the latest leaks and rumors. Now with this all being said guys, I think it's safe to say that AMD will have a great end of 2020, and one question we still want answered is whether RDNA 2 and RDNA RX 6000 can compete with Nvidia not just in the entry and midfield but also at the tippity top segment as well. Will Big Navi be yet another Radeon 7 disappointment or can it possibly threaten the 3090? Will the RX 6000 series cards be a success or a disappointment? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now to never miss an episode guys, make sure to say subscribe and you want to hit the notification bell.